Hello there, this is a demonstration of Hostcom's Contact Pro hosted telephony and contact center service. So what we're looking at here is the um, admin interface, the administrators and users access a system via um, a web, uh, web portal effectively, and um, which is uh, secure. It's uh, based on uh, SSL encryption, so usernames and passwords when accessing the system are encrypted. Okay, so let's get straight into it. This is from the uh, admin perspective, so this is where new extensions can be added, created. Adding extensions really, really easy. Just clicking on the extension, putting the user's details in. Really, literally takes about 30 seconds to add a new user. Um, that's all done from here. Um, let's just go and have a look at the uh, from the extension level. So this is a, an administrator looking at the uh, extension settings. So user details, name, address, phone number, etc. Importantly, email address here for uh, voicemails to go to the inbox for Unified Messaging. Incoming call rules. So when a call comes in, what do we want to do with that call? Play busy, transfer to an external number, another extension, or we can prompt the caller for a PIN number. So when the call comes in, if it matches, does not match, if it's anonymous, so various rules that we can set up here for um, inbound calls and what to do with them on an extension basis. Outgoing calls pretty much the same, we can block certain numbers from being called by that extension. So in terms of the actual phone settings themselves, this is where the administrator would uh, set the profile for the phone. So the um, music on hold folders, we can set the CLI for the extension here. It can be set by the user, by the administrator, or by the server itself globally. We can block CLI so it just shows up as inbound, as sorry, as unknown. The extension supports instant messaging and presence, line status, that sort of thing, through uh, SIP endpoints that support that. Calling features like call waiting, do not disturb, activate, deactivate them, set up voicemail. Voicemail is unified messaging, so the um, the voicemail file, the sound file, can be emailed to uh, to your inbox. But also, you can access voicemail for here from the portal, but also from the phone as well. So three places to pick up voicemail. It can also be a conference extension with uh, multi-party conferencing, with uh, various prompts for people exiting, entering the conference. It can prompt for a pin, that sort of thing. It can be a fax as well, so instead of going to voicemail, we can send it through to a fax. If it detects a fax, it'll basically um, accept the fax, convert it to a PDF, and then email that through to uh, your inbox again. So y your inbox becomes quite important. It's uh, receiving not just email now, but uh, uh, voicemails and faxes. Faxes can also be sent from the portal here as well, bulk faxes, single faxes. And call recording, so this is this is um, on demand or always on. And uh, we can set limits for the amount of storage space as well. So that's how to set up a, a basic extension. Okay, so we're going to have a look at um, some other things as well. Email templates, for example. There are a load of uh, emails that can be sent out to the user to this extension um, for charging warnings, fax received extensions just about to expire, lots of things like that. The extension is um, is also queue agent. So this extension is part of three queues, account, sales and support. We can see some basic stats there and we can log, log in and out of those queues from here. So if I wanted to um, log out of all three queues here, that's all I'd have to do. You see that's changed now to logged out. If I click that again, log back in again all three queues there we go simple as that voicemail here are the voicemails really straightforward they're just listed here in date order but you can obviously change um, sort them in, ver in whatever order you want and the date created or who they're from listening to them is really easy just play that Okay. In terms of call recording, 
pretty similar to voicemail really there they are call recording stacked up here and we just basically play them listen to them sort them in order that sort of thing call reports is really really good so here are the um, all the calls at the bottom here we can sort them into we can add new parameters callback caller ID calling card code things like that and we can basically design the search that we want so based on who the calls were sent to um, or what the hang up cause was lots and lots of different hang up causes here if you're looking at doing some detailed reporting so pretty much everything you'd want there from um, call reports so that's it for the uh, the extension basis um, in terms of uh, the, what the admi administrator would want to do for the basic ad admin, uh, basic extensions. So we'll have a look now at um, a queue extension. So this is uh, a typical queue or ACD relating to, for example, a sales department, something like that. So there's a queue, queue name, sales. When a call comes in, it's going to ring all, but that could be um, ring the person that's had the fewest calls. We can random, round robin. So that's basically how they how we route the call through to the decision to route the call through to the agents based on what's set here. Okay, we can put um, SLA so that we can report against how long people waited in the queue, that sort of thing. We can record all calls, set the storage space for the inbound call recordings, um, local agent behavior, that sort of thing. And when the um, we can announce a queue as we can announce a, a welcome sound as the person enters a queue. And we can play prompts to them while they're waiting in the queue for somebody to come free. Usual stuff, how many people in the queue, how long they're expected to wait, that sort of thing. They can press any key to exit the queue and go through to another extension, generally a supervisor, something like that. And we can also set timeouts. So if the person's been in the queue for, say, five minutes, transfer them to another extension. Okay. A really good queue there. Um, in terms of the um, queue agent, the people that are in that queue there, same again. So these are the people that are logged into that queue. We can log them in, log them out, turn them into supervisors, that sort of thing. Queue reports pretty good. So we've got lots and lots of stats, so dashboard type stats. Okay, so this is all inbound calls to the business or the sales department. How quickly are the calls being answered? So some dashboard type reports there, but some also some detailed agent productivity type statistics as well. Who's taken the most calls, um, abandon rates, that sort of thing. Um, yeah, so giving you sort of, you know, time of day stats as well. What percentage of calls are coming through at certain times of day? Pretty much all you need for um, a, a you know a good inbound contact center there. So that's about it for uh, for Contact Pro on in terms of like basic settings. Um, it's uh, as I say completely web based. We've also got um, got a view here of uh, one final thing actually is uh, is just the uh, line status of each um, person as well. So when they're busy, it shows up here. When they're online, it shows up. So you know exactly what everybody's doing. So that's Contact Pro from Hostcom. Um, thank you very much for watching. I'm Chris.